All right, and we're back. Part 20. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of 20, this, this is about how long the video is. Just about about 20 minutes long. Um, because I ended up failing um, dramatically. And as you can see, I actually programmed the arrow to disappear, of course, you know. Uh, eventually we have to um, put restraints on it, make it, you know... <laughs> uh, basically make it impossible to spam and uh, you know for the most part we are uh, on our way with that so trying to think uh, you know for the most part we like our character is almost complete um, I know before we were talking about some sort of um, possibility of a melee um, sort of weapon, but again, you know, you know my um, standpoint on that kind of sounds, you know, Zelda-ish. Um, not only that, but it's like, eh, you know, you already have arrows. It's more, uh, this is more of like a puzzle game uh, to begin with. It's more of like a puzzle sort of thing, so. In general, it would make sense that you can just, you know, going around, <laughs> killing all of your puzzles. So, you know, you have to, you have to find um, some strate <laughs> strategic ways to get past your enemies, uh, to avoid them. You know, use timing and succeed in the level. So yeah, this is me just kind of um, recycling. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Because if if <clears throat> professional gaming companies can recycle <laughs> textures and whatnot, then I can recycle too. So I recycle that block to sort of change the color. I don't know if I want to change the sprite. Um, uh, change the spray eventually or not certainly a possibility but um I guess we'll just wait and see so yeah I was um uh, kind of thinking of like more gimmicks we could put in the game and this really uh, caught my attention I was just sort of like running through I'm like oh that'd be cool if there's like a block like that and actually um I actually uh, came up with this I think in like the early parts, like part, part four or five, I think. Basically, um, I was programming the locked doors, and I have not um, yet. God, how did it go? I think I hadn't set restraints to to the player running. Right, uh, no, 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 left, left, left. Yeah, so basically, he could like travel left like through the hallway, go through the door, but then he couldn't go back. So I was kind of thinking, like, oh, it'd be cool if there was like there was like some sort of like block that would have friction, um, that wouldn't like let you pass, and you know, uh, have those sort of gimmicks, or again, have like um, uh, have like a block that has like a similar gimmick. So. Ah, uh, yeah, so, my life, uh, school starting back in, um, I think, what is it, this, yeah, like, next Friday, um, eh, it's whatevs, really, um, be senior this year, so, won't be a big deal, I don't have that many classes to begin with, but, uh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff stirring up this year. But, of course, this hobby is always fun to look forward to. Just sort of like, yeah, awesome, I make my own games. We all make our own games. It's kind of funny, though, when people like kind of look at you when you're doing this. You're like, whoa, what are you doing? I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm making a game. They're like, what? what? You're making a game? Uh, yeah, dude, it's Game Maker, dude. You should totally get it. Or... You know, and he said, God, I know this one kid, he actually went out and got Game Maker, and, um, 
he had no idea, like, no idea the, um, like, the early concepts that, like, you should know before you even get Game Maker. Like, he didn't even know what a sprite was. And, um, he won out and, and got it. Yeah, he had no idea what a sprite was. He had no idea what alpha channels were, you know, like, nothing. I'm like, oh my god, kid. I think he eventually just kind of rage quit. I'm like, okay. Uh, yeah, so... Here, um, you know, I'm placing the blocks in some sort of order just to see if they work. They, um, uh, for the most part, uh, for the most part, I guess I was kind of expecting them not to work, you know, perfectly, um, uh, due to margin, uh, uh, god, what was it, uh, collision margin. And you'll see this here. And I was actually going through it. I'm like, what? what? An error. Error. What? Um. Yeah, you tend to come upon errors um quite frequently if you are making a game at like two, three o'clock in the morning. Um, sort of you know going through like I did. Um, it's kind of wondering what it was. I was like checking my gauge my gauge properties, I'm like, okay, well, I set the gauges up, I set up the, um, the instances, um, I have the gauge controllers and whatnot set, I was like, okay, this, this is very odd, I said that I had a problem with all my gauges in, um, in the instance of, what was it, W, and WDC, yeah, and <laughs> at that point, I was so tired. I'm like, wait, WDC, and I was like, okay, I'm not sure why I was having problems with that because you know, like, yes, it's a property of the player, but it's not existent yet. And I guess that you know, that in itself, I thought it just um, that there's just like a problem with it in general, and I'm like. Okay, that shouldn't make any sense. And at that point in time, it was not clicking to me that, um, basically, that occurrence was only happening due to the fact that I put the wrong instance in there that looked like the base property. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long it took me to figure that out. I think it took me about a good, probably, five minutes to figure it out, because I was just sort of like, eh... Like, it's working here, <laughs> you know? And, um, yeah, so I'm going through. Um, I'm like, okay, this, this doesn't make any sense. And I was so close. I was, like, right here looking at base, and I, ah, uh, darted my past self. Ah, uh, such a fool. And I was sitting there actually, like, reading it out. I'm like, okay, draw event for object WDC. And I was just... <laughs> Basically, I was just, like, thinking to the instance in itself. I wasn't really thinking about the actual, you know, the, um, the possibility of the, um, uh, player that I, uh, uh, placed down being WDC, so, um, that in itself. And WDC, W, you know, UC basically stands for, um, walking you know, left, right, up, down, and then C stands for control. So, yes, walking left control. So at that point, you're at the mercy of the game. Um, gimmicks, you can't really move. Because I turned off the, um, well, not really turned off, but I... I eliminate the, um, the controller, uh, <laughs> controller events in the uh, panel, so you can no longer uh, control yourself, thus actually being the gimmick. At this point, I was just kind of thinking, like, okay, you know, I, at this point, I was still thinking that there was a problem with the, um, and the game's task priority when it came to my gauges. I'm like, what? Well, <laughs> I'm having this problem, is it? Like, I was sitting there, I'm like, oh my god. And at that point, I was just sort of like, like, wow, you know. 
like, hey, you know, like when you work fast, like, you know, try to make a game, I'm sure we all uh, come upon these stupid errors that shouldn't have really have been made. But, um, they're eventually solved, hopefully. <laughs> they are indeed eventually solved. And at this point, I was just kind of like looking at them, like, okay, HP, 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 HP. Why is there a problem with the HP? Why is there a problem with the HP? So, I went back and I'm like, wait a second. The hell am I doing? <laughs> I checked the player. I'm like, this is not, this is not the base. This is, no, get out of my game now. Get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so I switched it to the right instance, the base. Uh, and again, these things tend to happen when you rush through such uh, foolery. Ah, uh, yes, was well, a good folly it was. So yeah, I'm like, oh, wh what? Yeah, um, I will most likely be making these probably like, <laughs> probably before twelve. <laughs> Because I was, well, again, I was doing this around, you know, 2 o'clock. And, again, that was MBL, which, you know, which is move block left. Um, which is pretty bad. Um, yeah, should have been, uh, <laughs> should have been WLC, and I was just sort of rushing through that again. So, basically, I have to go back and fix that for each each individual instance here in the events but fortunately that was the only block that it happened with so that's awesome and again um these uh, these collision events can be programmed either through the character or through the blocks themselves but I tend to feel that I have like more control if they're controlled directly through the character um, there are basically like only certain things that I like to control, um, through, through an individual object, and, um, uh, can, uh, really be appreciated, so. <sighs> so yeah, Saturday was a very long day today. Went out shopping for some school stuff, you know, paper, binder, pens, pencils, you know. All that whatnot. I already had half of what I uh, needed, really. All I needed to, uh, today was, uh, you know, some new clothes, I guess. Look fresh! But, uh, yeah. Uh, and at this point, I'm like, yeah, I kind of think that's going to happen anyway, so I'm like, okay, cool. At this point, God, I... <laughs> really not sure how tired I was. I was really tired when I was doing this, sort of. Like, not really tired, but like... They kind of like fatigue without really knowing it, but um, again, we use the magnifier feature that Windows gives you as a uh, handicap sort of uh, tool for people to use, which uh, works out nicely. I'd recommend you do that if um, you are using a uh, Using a software to make you know some sprites and you need like some more zoom than what your software can provide. I definitely recommend using the magnifier. You can like type it into your uh, God, what is it? Your start, your start button. You have like a um a type prompt and you can uh, type a magnifier. It should come right up. So it was kind of uh, kind of guessing like what margins I really want. Not that this really matters at this point. Um, at this point, um, these are all just, just random measurements that that will eventually become uh, deleted anyway because I'm going to revert back to the automatic hitbox. Because um, I found a much better way to do this. It uh, has nothing to do with the margin at all, actually. And, and again, I was really tired at the time, and um, 
basically at that point, like, this would work. Um, this would work assuming that there are different masks for each block. And you took that into consideration while designing the level. But since each block would have the same mask, because that's, that's what I was set up to in this video, um, setting myself up for epic fail, basically, so, yeah, let's go and watch the fail, um, usually, um, usually fails that I have, I usually cut out, or not really cut out, but, um, for the most part, um, now before, uh, um, each video is, um, started up, I will usually try to, um, uh, try to assess what I, uh, do, and what I want to do that, um, in that particular video, and the same thing happens again, <laughs> and at that point, I'm like, wait a second, what? Wait, what the hell am I, God, what's wrong with me? And I went back, I'm like, okay, this has got to be a better way to do this. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah, 20 minute video, 20 minute video. Fine, like it, like I'm not even sure if it's like 20, probably like 19, like well, like 19, 18 minutes. Yeah, probably like a full 20. But, uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. This this video um, does indeed contain fail, but usually I will either cut out my fails because um, no one wants to watch fails that much unless they're like funny. Um, usually, like when like watching an LP, uh, fails are kind of funny, but not as amusing when you're making a game. It's just sort of uh, <laughs> tedious to even watch it than it is like. <laughs> you know, really going through it, especially if you know, know, um, exactly how to program something each and every time because you're a god creator, <laughs> then at that point, it'd just be a hassle uh, to even watch the person, but, uh, yeah, this, this would definitely work doing an alarm set, basically, this would allow the player to phase through the block, um, not through the block, but, like, through the mask, um, for five steps, and then it will, um, it will then change into the action of him, him preforming, ah, preforming <laughs> pre the event that you want to be performed, and basically he will be able to touch the block each and every time in regards to that. Of course, um, precision, I would not say that there would be much precision because each and every time the player could enter it from, you know, from either side in some cases, so precision, um, and I'm already saying there's that much precision, but for the most part, I would say that, uh, it is, uh, quite accurate, and, uh, there are certain things in life that, uh, you, of course, you know, like, what would be best, precision or accuracy? Like, you'd like to have both, but sometimes that's either one non-option or two, you know, way too much of a hassle to really go through to, uh, in regards to that, so, it's like, okay, precision or accuracy? Well, I'll take accuracy over precision each and every time. Um, uh... Um, there, are, uh, there are certain cases where precision is needed, but if you don't have accuracy, then, you know, <laughs> precision is almost a waste. So, like, I suppose you could, like, um, <laughs> work on precision after accuracy. And at this point, I'm just rambling on, like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure some people are like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, um, longer video than usual, so, yeah, yeah, um, it's been awesome, thanks for watching, <laughs> and this is Casual86, signing off.